Welcome to the monthly reset. I don't know how <laughs> September is here, but it is. Um, we're starting the vlog on a Wednesday, Monday, just a work day, beginning to end. And then yesterday, in the middle of the day, for my lunch break, we went to the movies and we saw Haunted Mansion. Let spooky season begin. It was great. I loved it. I loved it. Okay, where do I even begin? <laughs> this fall is going to be kind of a big autumn for me. Lots of changes. I feel like that, that sounds better. Just saying lots of changes. But before we get into that, I want to show you what came in the mail. The magazine came in the mail. Isn't it cool? I'm going to have to very carefully peel this off. But look at Josie. Look how cute she is. Also, let me go grab it. I'll be right back. Don't move. Don't you go anywhere. Okay, I'm back. I ordered some fabric from Joann's and you have to see it. Do you see how beautiful? This fabric is, isn't it beautiful? It's cotton, deep blue, like more of an indigo. We're gonna be making a skirt with this. It might be a separate video when I make this with my mom, my mom's gonna help me. And I'm hoping it turns out nice because my intentions are to wear it to my friend's wedding reception. It's a casual event. It's a casual lunch in November. And I just feel like this is like a really nice polished long, like full length full length skirt and I just think it'll look nice because like I don't want to be too dressed up but I want to look nice you know what I mean so that's that's one of my goals but I wanted to show you that I'm hoping we will have time to do that okay so like I said it's a big month for me a lot of changes are happening thankfully my workout classes kind of staying the same the schedule is changing a little bit in the evenings because school has started up so that means dance classes have started back up it's, it's not that bad <laughs> it's not that bad and my Saturday morning classes are gonna be moving back into the studio because it's getting too cold out. Right now, <laughs> it's like just barely cold. It's really not cold, but I was like, brr, I'm <laughs> cold. That's because you're wearing a crop top and shorts. But you know, it's that weird transitional period before it's like actually fall and you can wear long pants without getting overheated. I'm working on this weekend, picking up all the clothes from my one client that I'm working with and bringing them here to photograph them and sell them from here because uh, she's been trying to rent out her upstairs space and she got a renter. So we need to make sure it's clean and I'm not gonna be able to work in that space anymore because it's their space. So I wanna get that done ASAP. And the biggest change, <laughs> this will probably start to take over the vlogs pretty soon, is finalizing my ceramic studio, my art studio and offering after school art lessons and adult art workshops. So like after school lessons will be like for kids. I'm aiming for middle school and high schoolers because I want to focus on the kids who want to go into art. And I will offer like younger kids, but they have to be accompanied with a parent. So it'll be more like a workshop day and also adult art workshops. So, you know, if you want to get together with your goyles and paint something or make a mug, like that'll be fun, but I'm gonna have to really start to buckle down, you know, and really focus on that. Also, I'm sorry if my face is like really oily and kind of like a weird color. I did the AHA, BHA peel from The Ordinary on my face. And then I like slathered myself in moisturizer and lots of sunscreen because it makes your, you have to be, take care of your skin. Anywho. That's why my skin might look a little like clammy, honestly. To-do list. I've been working on my to-do list on good notes. One of them is to list the rest of the clothes online for my client. Probably not gonna get that done this week, but it's like there, you know, sitting in the corner staring at me while I try to live my life. Schedule out shorts. I edited a bunch of shorts from the last vlog, plus some book reviews. And I wanna get those scheduled like up, ready to go. I want to take some time to sketch my designs because this is another aspect. I'm going to want to teach art classes, but I also want to start making art again to sell. So I have the ideas in my head, but I need to sit and sketch them out. I haven't decided if I want to sketch them in my sketchbook or if I want to stick to keeping them digital just because it's easier to organize it and transfer to different things. I, I need to clean my bathroom. It's time for another bathroom deep clean. I 
I like regular, like I keep up cleaning, but like, you know, it's different than like deep cleaning. There's, there's two different kinds of cleaning, you know? So we need to do that. I've been going through more clothes. You cannot see it, but there's a pile of shirts on top of my fan. I just need to be more realistic with myself yet again Go and realize if you haven't worn the clothes in a year, pack them away. You know, donate them, something. You're not wearing them. Don't let them take up space. I have to bring in the books that I got garage sailing, but also I have to show you the rest of the books I got on Sunday. There's a couple extra garage sales still going. Technically it was only supposed to be Friday and Saturday, but some people are like, we're doing it on Sunday too. And I was like, awesome. And I want to bring them all in. And I'm kind of reorganizing my bookshelf over here. I don't know if you can kind of see it. I'm putting the books that I finished reading up on top, like out of the way. And then I'm trying to organize the shelves. I kind of want to put like all the fantasy novels near each other all the chiclet and then I'm putting together everything that's like spooky season vibes because Halloween is coming and I need to place an alt order. It's time to stock up and thankfully I, I'm one of those people who uses those apps where you like scan your receipt and earn gift cards and I have about $25 in alta gift cards that I've accumulated. So we're gonna use that to stock up for the year. My plan is to get some cheap body scrubs. Here's the thing, like when it comes to regular skincare or lotion, I try to get really simple products. No alcohol in them, no fragrances, whatever, you know, cause they stay on the skin and I wear them and I keep them there for a while. When it comes to like body scrubs or things that are temporary, I don't care about that stuff as much cause you don't, you're not keeping it on your skin. Like my skin isn't super sensitive to that kind of stuff, but if I'm keeping it on my skin, you know, all day, that's when my skin will break out. So getting some cheap body scrubs slash they're on sale right now. And I don't know when it ends, but I want to, I want to order that as well as the CeraVe salicylic acid body lotion. It's supposed to help with like ingrown hairs and that kind of stuff which even if I don't shave, I for some reason get those. It's the curse of being Mediterranean. <laughs> and we need to finish cleaning out the shed for the electrician so we can install the kiln in there. Yay. And... Did you hear my stomach just then? I'm so hungry. We're eating after this, by the way. I'm probably gonna make my new favorite salad. I don't know, or have a burger. Oh, a burger sounds so good. I think I'm gonna make a burger. We'll have a salad later. And I have to print out more ledgers for work. And I think that covered, no, one more thing that isn't on this list. This is my like fluid list versus my regular list that I keep in reminders that I go through every month. I need to back up edited stuff onto my external hard drive. So now I think that's everything. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to continue to like chat with you while I do my monthly reset because I feel like often I end up doing montages and I, I wanna clue you in as to how I try to reset for the month as much as possible because I work multiple jobs and it just can be hard to balance everything but I do it on purpose so that I can take rest as well so even though we're like doing things I also make time to rest speaking of which I read another few chapters in my book I'm a fourth of the way through it now and I love it so far okay I think I need to stop talking <laughs> take a little lunch break and I can print the ledgers. I can print the ledgers while I'm upstairs making lunch. That's what I'll do. Awesome. Okay, let the chaos ensue. <laughs> Here are the other books I got. Kit's Law, Void Moon, Daniel Isn't Talking, and Remember When. Hello, it is the next day. I've gotten a lot of things done off of my list that I don't know if you can even see because of the brightness. <laughs> But yesterday evening, like at the end of the day, after I'd done some editing, some work, some emails, made a newsletter, you know, all that fun stuff, backed up stuff to my external hard drive, I was like, okay, my reward will be placing my Alta order. And uh, I have like two separate, actually three separate gift cards because I had earn them as rewards. And you can only put one gift card in at a time. So I was like, no big deal. You know, this is a pretty big order anyways. I'll just split it in half and, you know, order the one half, $35 and over, free shipping. And then I'll order the other half. And I have a coupon I can use on that one. And then I have a coupon I can use on that one. Like we're saving money here. So place the first order, no problem, all hunky-dory. <laughs> used a $10 gift card, got $5 off, got free shipping, used $3 worth of points, fabulous. 
Go to place the second order. It is over $35, so I should get free shipping. It wouldn't give me free shipping. And then I had like the $3.50 coupon, you know, the normal one. Would not take the coupon. And then I was punching in my other $10 gift card. Would not take the gift card. I was on the chat line, like trying to figure this out. Some person was trying to help me. They were very nice. The Ulta help person. It's very nice. And we concluded after doing so much troubleshooting to just give up for the day and instead place the order the next day, which is today. And I did it. I did it. Finally, it worked. I got my free shipping. I got my $3.50 coupon and I got to use my $10 gift card. And I ended up saving in total between like the two orders, $25. I know it was $80 worth of stuff and I saved 25, which is almost 40% off. Plus I wouldn't have been able to use the $3.50 coupon on the first order anyway. So it, it worked out, it really did. And I planned out my ceramics production, like having collections for different times of the year, kind of what I'm gonna do with that. So all that's left is to list the rest of the clothing online. I've been listing the clothing on Poshmark, Depop, and on Facebook Marketplace. So I have a few more items, I think, to list on Facebook Marketplace. On all of them, honestly. I, I just, I, it's a lot of stuff to sit and like peck away all the details. So I would like to finish that up. I'm probably not gonna get around to it tomorrow because tomorrow on my way home from the rink is when I'm stopping by the lady who I'm helping and picking up as many clothing items and whatnot as possible to get it out of the way for her renter upstairs. So it's probably just gonna be that and I might make pizza tomorrow night because that just sounds like a nice reward. As you recall, every month in my town, we have an activity on Main Street and that's what I've like baked cupcakes and stuff for previously. I didn't even bother baking anything um, this time. I'm still hosting the free yoga class tonight, but it's been raining. I don't know what it is with this once a, one day a month activity that for some reason it's it's cursed. We always have like severe thunderstorms. Right now it's actually pretty outside, but it is threatening us with thunderstorms uh, yet again. So yeah, we'll we'll see how that works out. Oh, I also scheduled all of the shorts, reels slash TikToks to go up except for one because Instagram only allows you to schedule so many in advance or so many at a time. I don't know. I have yet to figure out why there's a restriction on scheduling ahead on Instagram. Like it just goes, sorry, we can't schedule that post to go up later. You can't upload anything now. It sucks to be you. Like that, that's like the message I get. So I'm counting that as being done. I'm counting it as being done if the one is just, I'm not allowed to upload it for whatever reason. But for now I have to teach soon. So I'm gonna talk to you later. I will check in with you whenever we're tackling more things on this monthly to-do list. Okay, now I'm gonna stop talking, see if I can get any last little bit of work done before I have to go to work. Work before work. I will see you next, hopefully with pizza. Fingers crossed, I have the time and energy. So here are all the clothes that I am selling for my client. My goal is to get them all sold by the end of September. Also, sorry for the background noise, but the neighbors are working. I don't know if you can see, kind of over there. I don't know. They're digging for a pool, which is awesome. Good for them. But yes, this is all I have to sell. I'm trying to get it done by the end of September. Whatever doesn't sell, I will just simply give back to them. And I will list my Poshmark and Depop in the caption below. So if you want to buy anything, you can. I actually want to put the clothes on to take pictures. People need to see what this looks like on a human, you know? So I just finished putting on all those clothes and taking photos wearing them. Um, let me show you. I used Lens Buddy and took some self timer photos in all of the garments so people could see how they look actually on a person. And I took all the photos over there in that corner. So now I'm going to upload all of the photos to my computer and update the listings, list some other stuff that hasn't been listed on Poshmark yet and yeah progress. Hopefully I will get this all done today. And then every week that the things aren't purchased yet, I'm going to mark them down by $5, except for the leather jacket and the pants, because those are big ticket items. I'm going to mark them down by uh, 50. So whatever doesn't sell by the end of September is gone. <laughs> 
So just keep that in mind. You only have a couple weeks left if you want to buy any of the clothes. It is hot and humid and I am tired, but we got it all done. We have completed the monthly reset. All the usual things have been done as well as the weird extra things. The only thing I don't have done is sketching out my ideas and that's just because I have more to sketch. This was a very good reset. I feel like I'm getting more into a rhythm. Each month it's a little easier. I have a better flow to it. Deep cleaned my bathroom today. If you have any tips to getting calcium deposit from water off of glass, please let me know. Basically everything at this point, but if there's anything like weird out of the box, you're like, this works, I will do it. I will sell a part of my soul to get it clean. Cause I used squeegee, I scrubbed it, it laughed at me. It mocked me, literally mocked. I don't know you guys, but everything else is really clean. I just, oh, what can I say? <laughs> Oh, I did end up finishing getting all the clothes listed yesterday by nine o'clock because today's Sunday, by the way. Normally I end the vlogs on a Saturday, but I was too tired to talk, but I got it all done by 9 p.m. and I sold two items already, I know. So maybe I can mail them tomorrow, leave a few minutes early for the rink and like drop them off. And whatever I've decided, whatever I'm not able to sell, online by the end of the month. I'm gonna take to the consignment shops around here and see what I can get for them. And if it's like way low ball, I'll just give them back to my client. And if it's like a good price of it, cool, dope, take it. I did some editing, although normally I have this vlog like edited before the weekend is over. So I'm hoping I get it done a little quicker. Maybe I start to work on it tonight. I doubt it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna sit and read my book because it is hot and humid. Is This is like the last really hot week. And we were so spoiled because last week it felt like the beginning of fall. It was starting to get cold. I think that's all. I think we like, this is like the first monthly reset where I feel like I got everything done easily. Not just getting it done, but I got it done pretty easily. So, but uh, I'm repeating myself now and starting to ramble because I'm so tired. I have vegetables in the oven right now. The squash and the eggplant and the carrots, my neighbor actually grew them and had extras and gave them to me. So I added a sweet potato in there and an onion. And then I put olive oil, garlic powder, and lemon pepper seasoning. Ooh, I'm, I'm really excited. So while those are cooking, I think I'm going to sit and read and just try to cool off a little bit because it's so hot. <laughs> but yeah, I think that covers everything for the monthly reset. I would love to hear what kind of things you do for your monthly reset. If you even have a monthly reset or maybe you have one and you don't even realize that like every month you go through like the same little system. Also with that, you might've noticed I posted this vlog a little earlier in the day because when they premiere, I like to be able to chat with you guys because I'm usually driving away somewhere at noon <laughs> and I don't get off of work till like 10.30. So we'll do 11 a.m. because that's usually when I'm sitting and eating my breakfast slash lunch anyway. So it'll be nice to like sit and chat with you guys during the video premieres. And I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> so new playlist every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Sometimes a bonus video on Wednesdays if I have time to film them. And then the weekly vlogs every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And yeah, I'll see ya when I see ya.